Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I'm in the garden, y'all, and it is bright and it is sunny. It's a little cold, but it is a beautiful day. And I just wanted to show you all how this collar is standing up. Well, they all standing up, but this biggest one that I showed you all the other day that was kind of laying over, we had rain in the area for a couple of days and that collard green has really uh, made a fast improvement. It's like it's just enjoying life. It is standing up and it is saluting. So that just shows you the difference that the rainwater can make. And also it's been a couple of days since it had been planted. So it uh, probably has something to do with it too that its roots have uh, got more established in the new home. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you all how it's looking. Some of the other plants are beginning to stand up too. I'm trying to move in a little, but those are some of the smaller plants that I planted, and they are looking better also. Now this one right there, that is also a collar. But if you can see that scarlet kale, I had it, but I can't see it. Okay, let's see, can I get that scarlet? There it is, right? It's right there scarlet kale so it is looking like it is beginning to get established in this new home so yeah i'm happy about that look at these little chickadees they act like they can't wait so let me make sure i go ahead and get them taken care of before they get mad Okay, we got two broken eggs over there.
So we have six eggs and two broken eggshells. I can tell it was two eggs because there's more eggshells left than could have been for just one egg. So I'll let them finish that off. Okay, the girls are beginning to stand around the water cooler, so I need to go ahead and make sure that they got fresh water. Have to go in the house soon because I done dropped this water hose nozzle at the end and it's heavy on my baby toe. That really hurts. I'm gonna try to hold on because I need to water these trees that are inside this greenhouse. And y'all, I stuck my head inside this greenhouse because I was coming to get something. Let's see if I have a clamp. I would love it if I have a clamp right now. And I would not have to let this down to go and get a clamp to clamp this up here. See, it's probably best to have all the things that you need to get ready to do something. But it's, it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay, y'all, till I find a clamp. It should not be a clamp far from here. 
Okay, this is the kind of clap I was looking for. And I keep these, they be all over the garden. I just, you know, randomly put one somewhere like that. So in case I need it, but not one anywhere near this greenhouse today. So then it'll just hold that like that. And those are really cheap on Amazon. But I came to uh, check on these trees. Well, I really came to get my seed starting trays because I am about to start some seeds in here. And I might just go ahead and add some soil to a few of these because there are a lot in this. There's 36 cells. And I'm not ready to do 36 cells or anything. You know, I could just do a row of this and a row of that. But y'all, I do not like to do that. Well, I could. I think I may go ahead and use one of these. Because what I'm going to be um, starting seeds on today are some hibiscus. I'm going to do some hibiscus seeds. And I ordered them. I got them from Amazon. And I am going to plant a few of them. Hmm. Oh, I'm not going to start those today because I have to soak them. So, we're not doing the hibiscus today. We are doing some cabbages today. And we're doing the uh, we're doing the Napa cabbage today. We're not doing the hibiscus because they've got to be soaked overnight. So, we will do those in the next video. And we're also going to be doing some more lantana. And these ones I will take and put inside the house underneath the light so i'm fixing to start putting stuff in the house underneath the light so these are going to be for my napa cabbages and i'm not going to do a lot of them i may do 12 though because uh, you say well, what are you going to do with all that cabbage but y'all there are so many different things to do with cabbage i told you all i use a lot of cabbage i use cabbage uh, sometimes uh, twice a week so I need cabbage and if we get a lot of it then I'll just chop it up and I put it in the freezer because I can use that for my stir fries and I can use it for boiling put it in with some other things and carrots and stuff and be delicious so um, I'm going to do some cabbages in these and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take these out I'm gonna soak them today start y'all know how long it takes these um, cells to absorb the water because it has that seed starting mix so we're going to do that and then we're just going to take some seed starting mix i already got moistened and put in here to plant the cabbage but what i came in here also to do and as i said it is very very warm in here although it's kind of chilly out here today and i am going to um uncover this tree with you all so we're going to see together how this tree is looking yeah, this tree stuck me. And it was probably because of the noise from the wind chime. That was. I don't think it's. I don't think I'm bleeding or anything. Okay, let's see. Got this. Okay, this string out. out. So, now yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me show you all. Oh, I was showing you all nothing but the roof. I am sorry. Okay, so here is what the tree is looking like right now. Okay, so I am going to water my trees. Because I know they probably were feeling neglected here in the rain falling, but they weren't getting any water. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these weeds that have grown underneath. And these are those same weeds that I showed you all out in the uh, garden where I was planting the brassica. So those are definitely weeds. do seem to be an onion planted in here. I don't know if I put that seed in there or how it got in there, but it's in there. I'm going to go ahead and remove these weeds. So... The plant will not be competing with weeds over the winter. Water it in real good at the root. And on the citrus, you uh, want to make sure that they don't dry out, but you don't want them to be too wet. It's best to kind of give them, a, uh, you know, when they're getting low on water instead of just keeping them 
just saturated all the time. They like it more like that. So that is the lemon that um, I thought was dying, the one that I purchased online, and it was pretty expensive. Then back at the back, that is the blood orange. And it's looking really good. They probably all would love to come outside. I may go ahead and bring them all out too. Since it's gonna be uh reasonable weather, not in a freezing temperature. I'm not sure I have to think about it and I have to double check because the weather can change and I haven't checked in a in a couple of days. Okay, so now they're all watered in really good. And I bought my loofahs in here, put them in here so they can continue to dry out so I can get those seeds out. I already have enough loofah seeds, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some more I can share. Okay, y'all, have you ever heard of anthocyanins? Anthocyanins are something that your purple vegetables contains a lot of. And it they are high in uh, nutrients that cause positive effects on your brains, <laughs> positive effect on inflammation in your body, and a positive effect on heart diseases. And so I think that we should be trying to get more into our diet and i am trying to get more in my diet because we already know that uh as we start getting older and i've seen the younger people doing it too uh walking into a room and saying you know what did i come in here for or you know things like that so you want to we've already tried to start uh taking things out of the diet that we know have negative effect on our brain function like uh, the aluminum we are trying to use less aluminum foil less uh, deodorants that contain aluminums, less uh, microwave popcorn, things like that, that uh, have been studied and shown that have a negative effect on your brain function. So, or even some of them can cause uh, dementia and, and Alzheimer's. So we want to try to do anything that we can to help our brain function. Um, cyanide has uh, been known to uh, boost your mood so you want to be in a good mood. You know, at this time of the year, we're having so many people that are saying that they are just depressed because of different things, uh, because the holidays de depress a lot of people. And the stress that comes with all that, a lot of people saying that they get so stressed out, they go to the supermarket or go to the um, store and can't find a parking spot. The traffic is so much more heavy. And those things are stressing people out. And so you want to find something that boosts your mood, something that feel make you feel better. And, you know, I'm not a doctor or anything. And the only thing I can know is what I have been reading. And I have been reading good things about these anthocyanins. So uh, some of the vegetables that I am putting into our diet are some of the different ones that have uh, purple or just some very dark color of vegetables. This is a carrot that has uh, those anthocyanins. So you can look at it and tell by the color. So I won't be trying to pronounce these names. I've already uh, messed these names up on the um, video before when I showed you these the first time. So I'm gonna put them up there and you can just look at the picture. <laughs> but you can you can also just uh, try, you know, to uh, write that name down. And these, a lot of these came from Baker Creek. They got a red Reuben Brussels sprout. And so these are just uh, some things that you can use to add to your garden, add to your diet, but they're just not going to look pretty. They're, uh, they have health benefits. They're going to be pretty too, but they have some good health benefits. Got a cabbage here, purple cabbage. So 
So that is going to be something that you might want to try. And you know, we got a lot of different uh, red and purple cabbages. Got a beet. It's a cylindro beet. I think I can say that. Cylindra. A cylindra beet. Japanese flowering kale has that beautiful purple color in it. A calabose cabbage. I like that pointy look on it. I'm excited to see mine grow. I have some of those planted already and I'm probably gonna be, oh, well, I'll definitely be planting some more and I'll be planting some in some of these seed trays also. Got a scarlet kale. I showed you all some scarlet kale today that I moved the other day in the garden. Got the purple basil. So these are some things you want to go ahead and try and add to your diet. Purple sprouting broccoli. I have some of this planted in the garden. Purple cauliflower. Purple Sicily cauliflower. So these are uh, some of the things that you can add to your garden. And um, whenever they grow, add them to your diet. I hope I didn't get my seeds wet because I got a little dampness on this table. That's one thing about bringing seeds outside. Even in the house, though, y'all, I was uh, getting some seeds, packaging them up because I'm going to take them to a friend. And um, had laid my stuff on the counter, and there was a little dampness on the counter. And I was like, oh, you know, just went crazy for a second. Trying to get them to make sure that they weren't wet because you don't want your seeds to get wet, to get them damp, and then that'd be a problem. And I just got these seeds in. These are uh, these are not um, anthocyanine. These are some um, Napa cabbage. Because, y'all, I had not been able to get any Napa cabbage seeds. At least I just, I don't know why I didn't have them. But um, now I have my Napa cabbage seeds. So I can use the, I can plant these and I can use this for my kimchi. Y'all, my kimchi is almost gone. So I am probably, uh, I, I want to use the Napa because that's the flavor, that's the taste that I'm used to, the texture that I'm used to. So I want to use the Napa, uh, but I do have plenty of that Mitchell Healy still back there. But I'll be using that for uh, my salads, my wraps, and different things like that. So I'm going to uh, probably get a, napa at the store and hopefully my um radishes will go ahead and come up or uh, it's probably gonna be more I, I may be able to hold out for about 20 days maybe my uh daikons will be in got to a nice size where i'll be able to get one uh to put into my kimchi and then i'm gonna plant some more rutabagas because i planted some over here i just uh D direct sold some in the garden so i'm going to plant some in this tray so i can have some more so let's get started planting these first i need to go ahead and i need to get me some potting mix i need to go ahead and get my other seeds out of the way first get these seeds in a good spot so i won't get any moisture on them and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill my trays. So I got me some seeds starting mix right here. Put my gloves on. My hands are getting cold. My eyes were watering because the wind seemed was going uh, directly in my eyes. But I am loving being out in the garden today. I am. I told you it had been raining. I had not been in the garden. Well, I came out and just looked. But I did not do anything. So I love getting out here. It works. And you know, that's something, you know, uh, those anthocyanins are going to be good, you know, to help. But you all, one thing is to find your happy place. Find something that makes you happy and do it because we're having so many different things that we're having to deal with. At least, you know, I am. And I, I feel like a lot of other people are too. And 
it's just that we need to find something that makes us happy, something to relieve some of the stress. And I know a lot of people right now are so stressed because of the holidays. Y'all, that's one day. Don't let that one day stress you out like that. Don't let it do it. Just try and, you know, a lot of people are so stressed out because they having to go deal with people who they, they love, but they really don't want to deal with. You know what? Sometimes you just have to say no. If it's someone who makes you feel so uncomfortable, and I know that there can be some people who just, just that's what they thrive for. They live for those gatherings so that they can be messy. You know, ask somebody something that makes them uncomfortable. Uh, you know, they, they're the one who wait for people to arrive so they can, they got a, a list of questions that they want to ask people and ask it in front of everybody. You know, that's called being messy. If you do that, you, that you messy. Don't be that person. Don't be that messy person that you just sit up. If you have that problem, pray and ask God to remove that, that, uh, spirit from you because that is not a good spirit to have. That make people not want to be around you. If you're the person that's going to say something that you know is going to make somebody uncomfortable, if it's uh, that, that one person who haven't got married yet, uh, when you going to get married? You ain't got, uh, you still ain't got no kids. You know she ain't got no kids. You see her sitting right there. She ain't got nobody with her. Don't be asking her about when she going to get married and have kids. You got to take two people to get married and have some kids. You don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Y'all, it's just, uh, you know, a lot of people got a lot. You don't know how close a person is to the edge while you being messy for no reason. I forgot my labels. I'm not about to try to do this with no labels. If I would not remember for one second. I got to get the labels. Yeah, but everybody's thinking about getting a New Year's resolution and trying to figure out what kind of diet they're going to go on. Don't worry about the diet. Get rid of that messy spirit you got. That she's always stirring up stuff in the family, keeping old mess brewing from one year to the next. It's people have forgot about it. You can't wait to get back to the table so you can start it back up again. Don't be that person. Don't worry about the diet. Just stop putting stuff into your mouth that you know you don't supposed to eat. If you know that you got high blood pressure, don't sit up there and eat that pork chop. Then everybody got to stop the dinner, try to rush you to the hospital. So no, just try to change some of those ways, some of those negative ways that you have, stirring up stuff, causing problems in the family. Okay, that was just my little rant. But somebody needs to hear that. So now I got my saw mixed up. Oh, go ahead. I'm going to moisten this soil after I take my seeds and put them in my pocket. Y'all don't worry about these seeds. I don't want to mess up my rutabaga and my napa. You know, I told you I had a hard time finding these napa seeds. And where's my pocket? My pocket way down here. Okay. Let's get the soil moist. So I crossed out what was on the back of these labels because I didn't go inside get any labels. I just found some out here in the garden. One of them had ground cherries on it, so I knew that. I could have left that because I knew that wasn't going to be what I was planting. So I have some um, Napa cabbage. And after the other day, y'all, I'm going to try to improve on my handwriting on these labels instead of just doing the way I did the other day because I could not read my own writing. I was saying it was California something, but it was cauliflower. So that's another Napa cabbage. It's gonna have two trays. That's gonna be 12 Napa cabbage. That's a lot of Napa cabbage. 12 Napa. Oh, that's not that much. Okay, I'm gonna put those. And the other one is, now what's the other one? Rutabaga. I have two rutabaga. I 
All right, so the only thing we need to do now is just put some seeds on the top. And then I'm going to lightly cover. You know that these uh, seeds are very small. I'm going to show you what these Napa cabbage seeds are looking like. So I told you I ordered these from Amazon. I don't want to talk bad about Amazon, but sometimes Amazon just, whew, they just, sometimes I have some problems with Amazon. Not often, but I had ordered, y'all told, I told you all, I wanted my Worcestershire powder, vegan. It's hard, almost impossible to find it in my area. It is impossible to find it. I've been to all these Walmarts around here. I'm going to try another one tomorrow. And I was looking for my Worcestershire. I would have taken the liquid Worcestershire vegan. And um, vegan Worcestershire, saying it backwards. But I ordered it off of Amazon. I waited, 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 and waited. And it did not come on the day that it was expected. But when it finally said it was delivered, I went to my mailbox. I said it was in my mailbox. I went to my mailbox, and there was an empty package. An empty package that looks like, you know how they have those envelopes that sent out? It looks like the package had never been sealed, and it was so flat, it looked like nothing had ever been in it, especially not a uh, container of Worcestershire powder which I think would have been pretty big. The last one I ordered was pretty big, so it would not have fit into that envelope. <laughs> and I was upset about it. So I immediately rushed in. I'm going to put, okay, these are Napa cabbage. I'm going to put two. I immediately uh, went in and called. You know you get that recording. Everything now you're getting a recording, and it's hard to talk to people. I was trying to call and talk to somebody. I used to talk, call and talk to someone from my on my phone carrier. Um, 24 hours a day, I could talk to them. So y'all, things are changing. So y'all pay, pay attention. But now you cannot talk to anyone. And they said that someone would be there from 9 a.m. This is, I'm, back, this, I'm, I'm going back now. I'm at the phone carrier right now. <laughs> at, from 9 a.m., to I think five uh, central or uh, eastern time, and there was not. But they don't come on the weekends anymore, so you can forget about trying to reach them on the weekend. But back to Amazon. When I called them, I got a recording that said that they they knew exactly what I was wanting, you know, because. They said, is this about the vegan Worcestershire? And I said, you know, say yes. I said, yes. And they said, well, if you have not received it in two more days, call back. Because they, you know, it's like, ain't nothing we can do right now for you. <laughs> in so many words. So I had to wait for a couple more days because there was nowhere to actually put on the uh, website when you just go to the website and try to put it in there was nowhere to put on there what i actually wanted so anyway i'm still upset i don't have any worcestershire powder that's that's what it all boils down to i still don't have any worcestershire powder i am ready to make me some uh vegan meat <laughs> i say meat but it's not meat it's i i want to make some pepperoni i want to make me some steaks and what else do I need? I need it for those, for the pepperoni especially. I need it for the steaks too. Okay, so I got the Napa planted. And I am not putting, y'all, I put like two seeds in each one. I'm not going to overcrowd these seeds because I don't need that many. Oh, and on the um, reviews, this did not get in. It did not get good reviews. I went ahead and ordered it anyway, so we'll see. The, the Napa did not. These rutabaga seeds, I've had them, and they've grown before. But, um, my seeds kind of blowing around. Okay, so that's enough 
of both of those. They are so, so small that I am going to take a little bit and I'm just a little bit of soil. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this little bit of soil on top. This is a small amount. Cover these little tiny seeds. And then I'm going to add some more water. Water them in. And now I'm going to tamp it down a little bit. I'm try to get these seeds to have some good contact. I tamped the soil down when I first put it in so that I'd have a nice, solid foundation. So I'm tamping it down now again to get those seeds to make good seed soil contact. And I am going to add a little more water. I'm going to put the water at the bottom and let it soak up and then I'm going to come back because I just don't want to that's enough. I'm going to let it soak up from the bottom because I don't want to wash my seeds away and it will absorb. I'll come back and check to make sure that it has soaked up that water and if there's any extra water I will uh, pour it off. So now I have my Napa cabbage planted. I have 12 cells of that and also 12 cells of rutabaga. So y'all, I am so happy about that. I already had some rutabagas planted, but I'm happy because I got those Napa cabbage. Hopefully those reviews were just uh, operator errors and that my seeds will be viable and germinate so I can get me some Napa cabbage so I can make my kimchi. All right, I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video and that you would give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.